So at the start of my sports photography journey, I identified some big dreams, some big goals of events I wanted to shoot. World Cup final, Champions League final, FA Cup final, Super Bowl, WrestleMania, the Masters at Augusta, the Ashes and Finals Day. And you'll see there, it's today's date, the 18th of September 21, and two massive ticks, meaning today I have been accredited to go to Finals Day, the first of the dreams ticked off. Unbelievable. Here's my bag, just about packed up. Um, 300 Prime, as you'd expect. Loads of encased stuff, even the battery charger there, in case the batteries, two of them, uh, get low. Um, and I'm taking the, the 8200 as well, because obviously there'll be a cup lift, a trophy lift, and other bits going on. Um, so I'm going to need that, and I might have to utilise the good camera on my phone as well, um, if I'm close to trophy lift and all that. But yeah, bag's packed up, I'm about to whack the laptop in and then um, go and get a bottle of water on my way to the ground. Super, super excited. Also, there'll be that much going on today with fans, with other things around the cricket, all that stuff that I don't anticipate being able to speak to you as much during the day, if at all. So, I'll, um, if nothing else, I'll catch up with you when I get home in about I don't know, 10, 12 hours. But to you, like magic, it'll be instantaneous. past 11 at night um, I've just got home um, I was on site at H Baston this morning I'd say about half past nine ten o'clock so it's been a really long day um, but I can't thank the staff there enough they 
do you well there that you know i got there this morning and to my desk um i was hand served a bacon sarni and hash browns and then throughout the day i've been fed they've been bringing my food to me pitch side um there's been a coffee barista in the media wing there's been coffee refillable water the lot like you treat like a king there for the day and i can't find the staff there enough for their help in doing so um their generosity is unparalleled and as i said earlier ticked event one off my seven list dream my seven event dream list um and now that i'm home i'm at the end of the day i'm still pumped full of adrenaline and coffee but i'm also very emotional you know um my life has its peaks and troughs without going into detail but today was one of the good days if not one of the best days that i've had recently i know there's been a lot um it's seismic of my journey into sports photography you know i've i've done the tottenham hotspur stadium recently i've shot at the oval i've shot at edge bathroom umpteen times i'm there again tuesday for a four-day county uh, game but today was you know top billing the top event and i am so humbled to be able to get it and i've had the best day um possible and got some brilliant shots um i'm now home i'm gonna grab another coffee because i've got a lot of uh shots to get through in edison um how much i do tonight remains to be seen because i'm due at the nec in just under 12 hours to meet my friend simon at the national photography show for which i've got a pass for the whole weekend um i've probably got about three thousand shots i estimate that i haven't got off um i've been live feeding the agency website all day so if like a wicket's gone within five minutes i've got it online Within five minutes of the trophy lift, it was online. So I did that throughout the day. So let's talk about technicalities with that. So I lock images I am going to use and live send in camera with the, the lock button. And then using photo mechanic, I ingest only uh, locked images. So if I, if I get, like, I got uh, three at the end. So there was the, the winning moment and the fireworks going off another one of the fireworks going off and then the trophy lift so lock all three of those images pull them in um although it was in burst mode so i maybe took 100 shots of that whole period in time but i pulled off three shots initially got them metadated up got them onto the agency website and now when i'm home i'm gonna pull onto my laptop all the unlocked shots and just to save confusion about, you know, what I've already imported and uploaded, what I do um, with the shots that I've then got off and finished, is I use the colour code feature in Photo Mechanic and I code them red. So when I import all the photos in a minute, I'll literally um, say view colour class none um, so that I'm only looking at images that I haven't processed. Um, yeah. I spent the day shooting on my 300mm 2.8 lens. With the exception of um, the mascot race, which I did with the 8200, and the trophy lift that I did with the 8200, just because of the, the close proximity of it. Um, yeah, so yeah, gonna um, grab a coffee and start working my way through my images. Ciao. Let me say as well, while we're being technical, um, part of the reason I was able to get things off so quickly is because I now shoot sports in JPEG. JPEG only. That may surprise some of you photographers, um, but when we're doing sports, JPEGs are quicker. You can get more frames a second. You can get the shots off and processed a lot quicker. So um, any sports photographer worth their salt, you'll probably find shoots JPEG. On a match day and they might do jpeg and, and raw so they can you know edit the rules later on when they're not live sending but yeah jpegs to a point um it's also uh good as well because it obviously with jpeg you've not got as much editing scope as raw so you've got to pretty much get your exposure right or just to stop over or stop under and it 
forces that habit into you of getting the exposure spot on so that you know all you're doing is cropping leveling maybe lift the saturation and sharpness slightly and then you send them um so it forces that good habit which is a good habit to have so yeah I think one thing that hugely got me through today was uh, the humour of the day. Um, the Hollies was in stunning form. That's the one stand on the side that you get all your chanters and singers and all the atmosphere in and all the fancy dresses in. And, you know, the, the cameras on the day were putting some of the fancy dresses on the big screen. There was Kiss Cam, there was Bongo Cam um, examples. There was four lads dressed up from... Uh, the lads from the in between us, the TV series, and there's that scene in the film where they do that dance, Lad America, and all that one. And they stuck that music on and put the camera on the lads, and they did it, and stuff like that. And um, I think the one figure everyone will remember today from Finals Day 21 is Ronald McDonald. There was a guy in there dressed like Ronald McDonald with a load of um, fries, like packs of the McDonald's fries, and he was just everywhere today, character-wise. Um, and he got lumbered. I lost count of how many times by the chant that basically, you know, you the fans pick out someone in the stand uh, near them or whatever, like a Darren or a Steve in the singer-song. Like, um, but the one today was Ronald. And the song goes, I've never seen Ronald down a pint. I've never seen Ronald down a pint. I've never seen Ronald... Never seen Ronald, never seen Ronald down a pint. And then they hand the pint to him. And then, the, you know, they go about necking it. And he goes, Ooh, all the way down. Way! I lost count of how many times he did that today. The guy must have been absolutely mullered by the end of the night. But he was still, I mean, even in the last half hour of play, he led a conga around the whole stand of all the fancy dresses. So he must be able to handle his drink extremely well or he's, he's had a tactical vom somewhere along the lines. But I mean the humour. There was a guy dressed as Scooby-Doo and like put the cameras on him and played scooby doo be doo Where are you? All that sort of stuff. It's just unbelievable. Um, there's one guy, they, they said we've got a famous guy in today and they put um, they split the, the screen, a picture of the colonel from KFC. And this guy, he was uncanny. It was... Um, so much you, man. I think I've captured a lot of the fancy dress today, so yeah. Join me here at the National Photography Show at the NEC in Birmingham, here on my uh, pass thing. Um, just waiting for my mate Simon, my mentor Simon, to appear. I might actually try and put a face to a name, uh, although he's very camera shy. Um, just sat waiting for him. Went to bed about, what, 3 o'clock last night? And we're at about 11am uh, at the moment, so very tired, but also very excited. I love this show with the year. And obviously we didn't get one last year, so yeah, just sat here waiting for Simon, culling down these images from yesterday even more. I think when I ingested everything last night, there was about 3,700 shots. And uh, as you'll see in a minute, I've got that down significantly, we're nearly there, and then we can start thinking about editing the final batch. So we're making progress, we're making progress. As for today at the show, um, like every year I never plan it well so I've come without funds but I'm looking to uh, my objectives are there's a few talks I want to take in a bit of networking a bit of looking about maybe um, trying out some lenses with, with a view to a future purchase and generally just enjoying the show and having a look about and catching up with Si um, so yeah catch us all in a bit so so let me get a bit more technical with you with photo mechanic um, the fur the first call is not the definitive call when I've got 3,700 images. So this first call, phase one, is deleting all my like out of focus ones or ones where the ball's not in and stuff. Pretty shitty shots. And then once I've got that down to a batch, um, I'll then go through and do a fine call. 
where I literally pick off the best frames um, to work with and edit. Um, and as I've said before, I use Photo Mechanic and I'll show you why. So I use Photo Mechanic because it's dead quick. You can apply all your metadata at once and then just caption it. And this is how quick it is. Just to flick through images, dead quick. So one of the new things that the photographer showed you here is something called the uh, Action Arena. Just being there with the camera and there's all sorts of like parkour, break dancing, BMX tricks, all that shit going on. So yeah, fantastic. Got some, uh, I think we've got some great shots of like a uh, uh, BMX biker doing some backflips and shit. So yeah, I'm really happy. So that's us all done for today at the photography show. Took in a couple of talks. Uh, enjoyed spending time with my mentor Simon. He's not imaginary, he does exist, but he told me off at the thought of even turning in the camera on him. He's very camera shy, he's the boy. But he's an absolute legend. Um, always enjoy spending the day with him. Now home to finish culling all of last night's images and getting final stock batch uploaded. Might do an edit along in a bit. Um, We'll see. So I have now finished cull number one, phase one. We're down to 93 shots. We won't use all of them. I'm now going to go through and pick out the best frames and then we'll hit the editing. After I've captioned all my metadata, I'll show you that bit as well. So I've managed, I've managed to get down to a batch of 50 final images. That's still a hell of a lot. Um, to be fair I might try and lose some more along the way but what I'm going to do now next stage is I'm going to go through them all I'm going to hit my I button and we'll see the metadata template that I've set up I'm not going to go through and caption them all as so um, and then we'll move on to the next stage then which is cropping in photo mechanic before taking them to Lightroom right all my captions are done so now what we will do is we'll go through and I'm gonna crop each image ready to take over to Lightroom so all I'm doing is dragging and dropping over and getting my crop how I want it and then they're ready to go over to Lightroom which will be the next stage so all my cropping selections are done. What I'm now going to do is drag these images over into Lightroom. We're now at 10 p.m. Sunday night. I am currently a little knocked off um, because I recorded a whole edit along with a screen capture bit of software. that I tested out a little five minute clips and they were all right, but then I did like 20 minute screen capture and now the file's unreadable um so i'm i'm majorly annoyed about that but i'll attach the photos i got from the uh t20 finals day on the end here now and i will beg and urge of you to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell it really does help me massively trying to grow this channel um check out my instagram which is at the handle Carl underscore Newton underscore sports underscore portfolio. That's where you'll see the very best of the best of my work. Um, and I'll catch up with you at some point later in the week when I've hopefully caught up on a little bit of sleep. Although I am planning tomorrow to be at a photography show again and then I'm back at Edge Bust on Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, signing out.